Hi, as you can probably know, the main advantages of Vim and NeoVim are the speed and that text editing is binding with your muscle memory. And it looks like text editing is embedded right into your neural system. It's the skill of your body like walking, speaking, swimming and driving and so on. And that's why Vim is so powerful. And in this video I will show you how to set up NeoVim basically for Python development. I am starting from scratch and uh, first of all I want to install Vim plug, plugin manager and uh, then I want to change the color scheme. So here I need the NeoVim section and then just copy this line to my terminal. Okay, and then I'm copying these two lines. Here, inside brackets, you can specify where plugins will be installed. One of the most popular color schemes is Groovebox, that I want to install. To install it I have to take this part of the URL of GitHub repo, this part, and put it after the plug keyboard. Then I have to install the plugin, and to do it NeoVim should aware of the changes I have made in the initVim file. To do it we can restart NeoVim, or we can use this command to reload the initVim file, so percent character. And now I can install plugins with the plug install command. To use color scheme, I should use color scheme keyword and set the name of my color scheme, Groovebox. And we can see that color scheme is changed. Then let's add some basic stuff. I want to use UTF-8 encoding for my files. To use line numbers and to make them relative. Then I want to syntax highlight and enable. I don't want to use swap files. And when I'm scrolling a file I want to keep some space from the bottom and from the top of the file like this. And uh, I prefer to keep 5 or 7 lines. To use the backspace key to delete indentation end of line and start of line. Now I want to add some Python specific settings. I want to use tabs that will be converted to 4 spaces. I want to set auto indent and I want to set file format for all my files to Unix. And then I want to install the following plugins. Auto pairs, it's for pair completions of brackets, quotes, parentheses. Nerd tree, to have file browsing feature. Nerd commenter, I want to have an ability to comment something with a simple key binding. NeoVim Colorizer. I want to colorize hex codes of colors in CSS files, for example. Also, I want to use Vim Airline to better status line. Vim Airline Thems. Also, I use all these snips plugins to create and use snippets. The links will be in the description to the video. I don't want to waste your time, so just copy them all here. So, some of them are already work, auto pair and airline for example, but others I have to customize a bit. Airline them. Then I want to initialize colorizer, but first I have to set term GUI colors variable. 
and then I'm setting up colorizer. Let's test it. I'm opening CSS file. Okay, it works. Now I want to set up key binding for Nord Commenter plugin. and to comment multiple lines in visual mode. I want to use the key binding control slash like in Sublime text or in Atom, but by some reason Vim interpret underscore as slash. Then I want to have file explorer. It's the Nerd tree plugin. I want to open it up by pressing F2 key and close it when file is open. and to make its UI more minimalistic. Now I want to add a list of open files buffers to a top menu. To enable Airlines buffers panel, to show only names, and I want to set leader key plus one key binding to switch to a previous buffer and uh, the leader plus two to switch to the next buffer. And to close the open file, and then I have to set my leader key. I want to use spacebar. Let's test it. Leader 1, leader 2. Okay, and then I want to customize Ulti Snips plugin. I want to set directory for snippets. It will be the directory where initvim file is placed. Then the expand key will be tab. To move to the next tab's top, I will use the tab key too. And to move to the previous tab's top, shift tab. Then I have to make directory. And I want to create python snippets file. With only one snippet, it's just an example. Snippet keyword and the name of the snippet. I want to use if main. And then the description of the snippet. Dollar character and curly brackets with one is uh, the first tab stop. The main is the default name of this tab stop, default text. The dollar and one will be mirror the first tab stop default text. And then I want to create HTML snippets to create some DTL or Jinja2 snippets, just for example. The first snippet will be ext. It will extend some basic template. And the default name of the base HTML file will be base HTML. And then I want to use BL snippet to paste block of content. The default name will be the content, it's the first tab stop, and the second is uh, the text, the content of this block. Let's test it. And it's working. So the next video will be about how to customize DOPLEAT or COC plugins for code completion. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.